and in this video we're going to be going over Swift Playgrounds. We're going to discuss what it is, why you might want to use it, how you can get it, what the interface is like and then how you can get started. I'm going to be using Swift Playgrounds for Mac but it is also available on iPad um, and this video will still help you if that's the platform you're using. So let's get started. So first and foremost, what is Swift Playgrounds? So first of all, Swift Playgrounds is a platform. It was created by Apple to help teach coding. Uh, and you can download a number of different what they call playgrounds. And these are essentially courses or environments that allow you to code and actually help teach you how to code as well. So why might you want to use Swift Playgrounds? Well, there's a number of reasons that you might want to use Swift Playgrounds. If you're looking to learn the Swift coding language is the most obvious one. If you're looking at eventually learning how to build apps for iOS, this is a great place to start. Or maybe you're a teacher looking to implement coding into your classroom, then Playgrounds is great for all of these uses and more. So we know what Swift Playgrounds is and why you might want to use it. So how can you actually go about getting Swift Playgrounds on your device? So Swift Playgrounds can be downloaded for free from the App Store. Simply open up the App Store, go to the search box in the top left, and search for Swift Playgrounds. The first result you'll find will be the one that we're looking for, this Swift Playgrounds with this icon here. So where mine says open, it will say get, similar to the other results you can see here on the page. Click on Git, and then it will be downloaded to your Mac. Once downloaded, go into your Applications folder, and then double-click to open up Swift Playgrounds. So this is Swift Playgrounds. As you can see, the interface is very simplistic. The main part of the screen it, at the moment is blank. So all we have in the middle, it just says no playgrounds, get a playground below, or select the new blank playground from file menu. So you can see underneath this is where it says get a playground and you can see a number of different tile icons. These are the different playgrounds that you can download. If we click on see all in the right hand corner, you can see we have options of more playgrounds as well. Now, from here, you can download a number of different playgrounds depending on what you're looking to do. So just remember that playgrounds are coding courses or environments, meaning that they're here to help you teach, help to teach you coding, or provide a space for you to do your own. So examples are the learn to code, and this is probably the best place to start for most people. Um, it helps to teach you the Swift coding language in a fun and colorful way you'll be navigating the character byte around different mazes using the Swift coding language. Great for everybody, but really great for school kids. So if you are a teacher looking at implementing this in the classroom, Learn to Code is a great place to start. The other challenges down here will challenge you to actually create your own uh, game or animation using the Swift language. And then you can also download things like a blank uh, playground, which will allow you to uh, provides you a space where you can write your own Swift coding language. So once you're comfortable and you've maybe learned a few things in Learn to Code, you can start writing your own language in there. So how do you actually download these playgrounds? Well, similar to how we actually downloaded Swift playgrounds in the App Store, all we need to do is click on Git. And again, if you're unsure where to start, I highly recommend starting with Learn to Code 1 and then add that to your playground screen. Once it's downloaded, it's going to be added to your library in Swift Playgrounds. And we can see it says new because we haven't opened it up. So once it's downloaded, all you need to do is double click. And then what that will do is open up that playground in your Swift Playgrounds environment. So there you have it. That is Swift Playgrounds. Um, I hope that this has been useful for you. I'm planning to follow this video up uh, looking more specifically at Learn to Code. 
but this is for those just looking at, to find out what Learn to Code, or sorry, what Swift Playgrounds is and how they can get started. Thanks, and I'll see you in the next video.